Elon Musk has always been a man that has gone beyond the limiting notion of human beings to do the impossible. His starship has become the biggest and the most powerful rocket in the world. However, he has hinted at its crazy successor, a bigger and better rocket called Starship 2.0. So, how big exactly is it, and why would he want to create it? And how many engines will be set up and which one will power it? Hi! How's your day? Prepare your favorite hot drink because today's video will be extremely attractive. The heat of space discovery and new technology has always spread around the world. We'll be looking at all the details in today's episode of Alpha Tech. So first things first, how big will Starship 2.0 be? The minimum distance from Earth to Mars is about 54.6 million kilometers and Musk wants to send 1 million people to the red planet. But apart from humans, Musk has to transport tons of other things. This is a money intensive operation, so Musk absolutely has to find the most affordable way to move people between planets. This is when Starship appeared. To see how big Starship 2.0 is, let's take a look at the current generation of Starship, the Starship 1.0. The steel alloy spacecraft and its super heavy boosters stand at 120 meters tall, towering over the Saturn V that carried people to the moon. The rocket's 9 meter diameter cargo hold could easily accommodate giant celestial observatories. In terms of power, the space industry has never seen anything like it. Subsequent versions of the B-7 will use 33 Raptor engines. Starship 1.0 will be able to launch 100 tons into orbit on a fully reusable basis, but according to Musk, the next-gen system, dubbed Starship 2.0, would be double the size of the vessel that will transport personnel and cargo to the moon and Mars. Musk made the comment in response to a question from one of his numerous Twitter followers about his plan to create a larger version of the Starship in the future. It means Starship 2.0 will be about 240 meters or 775 feet tall and 18 meters or 60 feet wide. This diameter would also make it the widest rocket ever built with Saturn V's SIC for a stage measuring 10 meters wide and the Soviet Union's N1 Block A first stage measuring an impressive 17 meters in diameter at its widest point. And if you didn't know, doubling the diameter of a circle quadruples its area. Add in a doubling of height and a theoretical Starship 2.0 would have eight times the surface area and eight times the propellant tank volume, requiring roughly eight times as much thrust and making the vehicle eight times as heavy as Starship 1.0. They might as well call this Starship 8.0 at this point. Presumably, that would mean that the next generation of SpaceX Super Heavies would be able to place payloads of up to 800,000 kilograms or around 1.764 million pounds to low Earth orbit, the Moon, and Mars. Wow! This payload would be near twice the payload of the Sea Dragon. The Sea Dragon was a 1962 conceptualized design study for a two-stage sea-launched orbital super heavy lift launch vehicle. That was a mouthful. The project was led by Robert Truax while working at Aerojet. It would have had a payload capacity of 550 tons. It would have been 150 meters tall and 23 meters in diameter. With a rocket as massive as this, Musk needs a really powerful engine. We're talking about the Starship 2.0, obviously. Roughly 60 Raptor 1.0s would be needed to help this rocket take off. Fortunately, the whole world has seen a super powerful engine called Raptor 2.0. Each Raptor 1 engine produces 185 metric tons of force. Raptor 2 just started production and will do 230 or more tons or over half a million pounds of force. Noted Elon on Twitter, citing the increased performance of the new iteration of Raptor. Thus, using Raptor 2, it would need less than 60 engines to lift off. Obviously. But why is version 2 needed? Well, a bigger starship is better in many cases. During an argument with Jeff Bezos about the Artemis contract, Musk said that refueling Starship for lunar landings will take 8 launches, or else there won't be enough fuel to get there, and a crew flight to Mars would become a hundred times more complicated. However, a larger Starship 2.0 that can supply all the fuel will simplify things massively. 
Additionally, with its large size, Starship itself must also become a fortress to live in for a long time before we complete all the facilities to serve the lives of a hundred volunteers on Mars at first. Everything will be very difficult for the first footprints on Mars. To build a self-sustaining colony on Mars, we can't do manual labor like the ancient Egyptians who built the pyramids. We will destroy ourselves in the harsh weather of Mars. As a result, Starship will need to have to carry heavy machinery such as iron and steel ore, excavators, and even civil aircraft. Finally, the massive payload of a future Generation 2 SpaceX Starship then could launch factories and advanced production systems anywhere. Importantly, Musk will be able to attain his Martian targets faster with this larger and more powerful Starship. The capacity to lift more goods per trip will make delivering the supplies needed by colonizers faster by reducing the number of trips required. The economic concern is vital because you don't build a big rocket just because you can. Musk said full reusability and thrifty use of propellant would drop the cost of each Starship 1.0 launch to just $2 million. But bear in mind that one trip of the Starship 2.0 is equivalent to eight trips of the current version. Predicting the total launch cost for Starship 2.0, it might be around $7.2 million for fuel and about $1.2 million in support operations, and that brings us to a total of $8.4 million estimated. If you were to have 8 launches of the current Starship, the total would be $16 million, so Starship 2.0 will basically have the costs for the same amount of payload. The number of passengers every batch on Starship 2.0 will also grow. The current Starship passenger capacity is estimated to be 100. However, 2.0 could have a passenger capacity of up to 1,000, which contributes to significant cost reductions. The key to the cost efficiency is Starship's projected capability in the amount of mass to orbit each launch can carry, paired with SpaceX's goal of fully reusing each rocket and booster in a way Musk compares to commercial air travel. So, when will Starship 2.0 be developed? It'll be an open question because SpaceX's focus right now is just getting to orbit. SpaceX has completed multiple high-altitude flight tests with Starship prototypes, but its next major step is to reach space. While that milestone was suspected to be reached last year, development progress has been delayed and the orbital flight test is also pending regulatory approval. Uh -huh. SpaceX needs a license from the FAA or Federal Aviation Administration, with the regulator expected to complete a key environmental assessment in a month or so. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget to share your ideas about today's episode in the comment section. Everyone's support will be the motivation for us to create more quality content. Thank you for loving us. Please subscribe. See ya!